I fell in love with stories at a really early age. Basically, as soon as I was being told stories, I wanted to make my own. I'd hide myself in the closet and write stories uh, from like eight till 12 or so. And then I came out of the closet. <laughs> Everything starts with character for me, so I try to take a really unique main character and then put them in extreme situations and choose visuals to tell their story in a way that's never been told before. When I'm making a film, I really want to have memorable scenes, so I try to create really shocking or um, eye-popping images that stay in the audience's mind when they leave. Some of my greatest influences are filmmakers as diverse as David Lynch, Todd Solondz, uh, Michelle Gondry, and like them, I feel like I take a lot of different influences from a lot of very different places and put them together to find my own style. And I'm falling from Mars. I spent most of my childhood in Houston, Texas, really in the suburbs, kind of like really conservative people. And when I started making films, I chose to like expose dark things. It was pretty shocking to a lot of people. They'd meet me and they'd be like, oh, you're so nice and well-adjusted and funny and sweet or whatever. And, and then they watched my film and they'd just be in shock, you know? So, so uh, I think that was a surprise for a lot of people that, or a concern for a lot of people that that had come out of my brain. Doctor, please, there's something in there. I, I think it's getting bigger. It's too much. I, I can feel it. You think something is wrong. A lot of filmmakers are trying so hard to imitate something cool that's already been done, whereas I look at a film and I'm like, what's the truest way to tell this particular story? When I start a project, um, I, the first thing I do is make sure that there's a point to what I'm doing. You know, like, what do I want the audience to leave having learned, or what does the character learn, and, and how is the audience going to react to that and take home, you know, that lesson, whatever it might be. For example, like in Better, the main character uh, is depressed and she shoots herself in the head. She survives and has to live with the scarring. And uh, obviously she didn't fix her problems. You know, when I made that, I really was hoping that people would see that and maybe have those images stick in their minds and everybody would realize things could be so much worse. And with Falling from Mars, it's basically about this woman who is experiencing heartbreak and grief over her lost love. Falling from Mars is basically about the heartache that we feel and the loss that we feel, either of a breakup or a death. One day she wakes up, she realizes she's still alive and life is still going to go on, and she flies off and moves on with her life. It's kind of about remembering the beautiful things, even in the hard times. You're beautiful. With every project I take on, it's a chance for me to continually develop my craft. I know I'm never going to run out of stories, and all I want to do is keep telling more. <laughs>